Charlie's got his new digs on. But when you cover him up with his hoodie, he doesn't know what to do. Hey guys, if you enjoy watching our videos, please consider subscribing to our channel. Also, hit that notification bell and you will be notified when we post future videos. Give those fingers some exercise and hit that like button. That lets us know that you like and enjoy our videos. Also, leave a comment. We're here 24-7. We'd love to hear from you. So let's get right to the video. Enjoy. Another nippy morning. The days are getting shorter. Unless that sun's out, it's cold. I'm gonna work on covering up these windows. I bought a, a roll of adhesive vinyl and I'm gonna put it on there. I also got some uh, designs to put on top of that vinyl, so I think it's gonna give it a good look. So I got the pattern that I was looking for. Now I'll cut the vinyl. I went ahead and taped the vinyl to the back and now I just gotta cut it. When I cut the vinyl, I cut it inside out. So it's not gonna fit that window there, but I'm trying to get it to fit this window. I was hoping that they were identical and it looks like they are. Except, I don't know if it was my cut, but there is a little gap up here, and there's a little gap over here. Am I going to worry about it? No, not really. It doesn't make that much of a difference. I'm never really good at this. I'll have to see how I can get the bubbles out. After putting it on there, it just looked like crap. I decided to take it off just painted flat black. This chalkboard spray paint, it's like a flat black. You can spray on as much as you want and you'll still get a nice even flat coat. It looks pretty damn good. Hot diggity dog. That looks awesome. Eh, taking a break from that madness. Give me your hand. Come on, let's go puppy. You want to say hi to everybody? I guess not. We're walking around the neighborhood, the neighborhood, the neighborhood. We're walking around the neighborhood. Oh, there he goes. Hi. I gotta say, the uh, best part of uh, growing up and getting older is that you have a lot more patience. I wish I had the patience that I've got now when I was younger and I had my daughter. You get all caught up in all the little bullshit that goes on in your life. And then you reach this point of your life and you realize it doesn't even matter. I love his little dinosaur shirt. You gotta get three in a row. Good job. I think that's what we forget, right? To be a kid again. Yeah, bud. <laughs> he sounds like uh, Dennis the Menace. Hello, Mr. Wilson. I think that's what we tend to forget, right? To be a kid again. If we can only go back to that time where we didn't really think about anything. There was no finances, no bills. We just had fun. We came to the playground, met our friends, just enjoyed ourselves without a worry in the world. Now don't get me wrong, I would never want to go back. I had this conversation with Gina and I wouldn't want to have to redo everything. There's a lot of good times, but there's also a lot of bad times, especially when you're going through school because kids can be so cruel. But I am so glad to be in my 50s. I have a lot more patience. I'm a lot smarter. I'm a lot wiser. And that's what it's all about when you get to this age. <sighs> yeah, life is good. Life is good. Let me 
You're in jail. Can't you get out? What did you do? Did you steal somebody's chewing gum? Three, two, one, go. Get them here. <laughs> huh? Get them here. Go to the stairs. Oh, you want me to come down with you? Yeah. All right. Let's do this. Uh, all right, buddy. We go. Go. You did that, good boy. All right, give me a high five. I deserve a high five for that. Thank you, buddy. And just like that, summer is over. Preparing for winter. Pool closed. Positively, no swimming. Come on. Hey, we're going on this street here, not that one. Oh, this is where the patience kicks in. <laughs> uh oh, he's scratching his butt. Hopefully he doesn't have to go poop. <laughs> this is what it's all about. Right here. Here's a miniature version of Uncle Lewis. <laughs> he looks like a little homie. I didn't really notice, but Gina had asked me, why is your face so black? I guess from all the overspray. <laughs> I got this Bigfoot decal on eBay and it came out really cool. That damn hole saw is not cutting through. I'll have to use the jigsaw. I am playing with fire here. Got it done. All right, guys, this is unbelievable. I bought a drill hole set to drill a hole into this mixing bowl. And it's supposed to be for metal, but it didn't work. So I used a jigsaw and now I've got the hole there. That worked out fine. I bought a, a drainer for it. I'm able to put it through the hole. It's actually a nice drainer. When you push in, it closes the flow of water. When you push out, it opens it up. Now the only thing is, there is an overflow hole here as well as here, so it's not going to work. The water is going to come through there. I'm going to have to make a trip to Home Depot again and see if they have any suggestions and how I can fix this. Hello. I went ahead and switched these around, so I've got the soap dispenser on the left hand side and the faucet on the right. I ordered another one of these and you know even though I get frustrated and angry because I either order the wrong stuff or the stuff doesn't work I do learn a thing or two. The sink that I've got is considered a vessel sink even though it's a mixing bowl that's what they they call it and in order to have a drainer for that it cannot have an overflow opening so the one that I ordered now does not have one. This is what our kitchenette looks like and this is how it works. We've got the fresh water on the left hand side that's going to feed in right into the faucet. We've got the wastewater on the right hand side and I'm going to lift that up just a little bit. I got to wait for that uh, drainer to come in before I can finish it off. work on the side window today. I actually took this cut out from the back window and modified it. I'm gonna see if I can put a cover on it. I bought this a while back and I'm hoping that it'll work as a cover to the side windows. I'm gonna cut out this foam board and attach that to it.
Well, I have to say these covers came out really nice. I did them on both sides, and they have a really nice pattern to them. It's funny what you can find and make something out of, because those right there are just cat mats. I gotta straighten out this tube, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna boil this water and soak the tube in there to uh, loosen up the plastic. Well, it didn't make it completely straight, but it's a lot better than before. I put a metal drinking straw inside the tube. What I'm trying to do is get enough weight to get that all the way to the bottom of that five gallon jug. I don't know if I'll need this, but I couldn't pass this up at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. It's a great brand, and this stuff is expensive. I'm back to working on the kitchenette. I've installed the sink as well as the new drainer. And I think I've explained that before, but basically you push out to release the water. You push in to hold the water. I drilled a couple holes to put the tubing through. As you can see, I ran the tubing through the back. I'm not going to attach it to anything. I think it should be fine. If it starts making noise while we're driving, then I'll do something else. I cut up a square piece of wood to hold up the faucet. I was hoping this portion of the pipe was more flexible. This way I can get that jug in and out easier. I think I'm gonna buy a hose, but believe it or not, hoses are hard to find, especially that size. Maybe I'll just go buy a bicycle tube, cut a small portion of it, and see if that works. All right, so I changed it around. I've got the uh, soap dispenser here, and then I've got the faucet here, and it's all set up, so let's turn it on and get some water. I love when a good plan works. The kitchen cabinet is complete, obviously. We'll start adding some more stuff as we go along. But for right now, that is the setup. And I really like the way it came out. I've seen a lot of van builds on YouTube. And some people make this setup look really nice. And some don't. They try to save a dollar here and there. And it looks like shit. I'm glad that I spend the extra money to have a really nice setup. And I really like the way it came out. Well, I'll be dang. Somebody came to help me. He is big. What a beautiful color. And you ever wonder If days like these last With one another With the feeling would you find out with me if it all starts to crumble we'll search the pieces for hope or I really like the way these panels came out as well as the uh, cover for the windows it's starting to look like a home I keep thinking of everything that we've done to this van and all the amount of work that we put into it I think back to when I put the solar panel and put the fan in put the awning in it seems like a while back but it wasn't too long ago and I just can't believe that we're getting really really close to finishing this up. We can't be happier. Ooh, it's cold this morning. Even Charlie's shivering just a little bit here. You okay, Bobo? I just have to take him for a ride with me. He gets bored at home. I got him this collar here because Charlie, for some reason, he's gotten worse with uh, barking. I needed to do something, so I bought this collar on uh, eBay, and every time he barks, he'll uh, he'll get a beep, and hopefully that'll train him to stop barking. 
So we'll see what happens. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I'm willing to try just about anything at this point. So when I was purchasing the collar, Gina thought it was one of those collars that would zap him. And she was like, is that not going to hurt him? I wouldn't hurt our little Charlie baby. So I'm up early today and the reason for that is that I am going to uh, install a fold up attachable table to the kitchenette cabinet that we have and I saw something at Walmart that I really liked. I could build this but it's going to save me some time and it's only like 10 bucks. I've been trying to incorporate something that has a whitewash, tony, beachy look to it and I haven't really been able to do it just yet but uh, this table is just that and I'm gonna go check to see if it'll actually fit. But first we gotta break it down with an Egg McMuffin from McDonald's. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. You know, after stopping by my storage, I realized I have all this wood left. I'm just gonna use this to make that side table. These are the pieces that I cut for that table. I also cut these little squares. They're made out of PVC. And I'm gonna use these as a holder for these covers. Any wood that you cut, it's always nice to sand down the edges. And that's how you make a table, y'all. forever now <laughs> we bought a 24 inch TV for the van I don't know how that's gonna work yet but I'll figure it out I also want to do uh, some cameras outside of the van for surveillance and maybe we can get it onto the TV sometimes it's easier to just eyeball this I got the TV up I'm not quite sure if I like it or not maybe I was just thinking it was gonna be closer to the wall but with the retractable arm, it does stick out a bit. I was also able to finish the side table. Now we've got some room to work on. This is the color that I was talking about, that white wash. I really like it, it came out nice. I'm really glad that I was able to expand that table. So I got a crack right here, right in the corner. And I'm afraid it's gonna get a little worse. So we're gonna change out the uh, windshield. how they do this take the windshield right off well it's getting dark and the clouds are rolling in nothing like a brand new windshield well guys as you can see I am sitting inside the van and it is super cozy Gina and I actually slept in the van last night we wanted to see what it would feel like and I gotta say it was freaking awesome we're about 90% done with this van build, and there is nobody happier than this dude. I don't want to think about another project for a really long time. We started buying some things for the van so we can start decorating. Gina's excited. I'm excited. We're supposed to get cold weather tonight, so that's what we're expecting. Before we end this video, I got some really good news for you. Gina and I have purchased an RV. We are super excited. We've been looking for an RV for a really long time. This dates back to when we were in Colorado. At the time, we were looking for a 30-footer, but I didn't really feel comfortable in pulling something that big, so we scaled it down to a 20-footer. The one we got is just perfect for our needs. We'll post some more RV stuff in future videos. We posted this on uh, Facebook and also Instagram, and one of the main questions that we had gotten was, why did you do a van build if you're buying an RV? Long story short, we bought the van so we can pull the RV. The Transit was not going to be able to do that. We're selling the Transit. The only thing we're going to have is the van and the RV. Now, when we're going cross country, we can leave the RV behind. If we want to go camping, boondocking, or what have you, we can just take the van. It's a lot easier that way. Well, guys, we're going to wrap it up right here. Hopefully that explained it. Thank you so much for tuning in. We love you guys. We'll see you on the next V-I-D-E-O.